Estranged siblings reunite after seven years in the same hospital. Imagine discovering that you have a family member you knew nothing about. A special person who comes right out of the blue. Incredible news. Maybe you've even had that experience yourself. But wait, we have a twist in store. What if that previously unsuspected family member had been practically under your nose the whole time? Read on to find out more. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. This is Christina Sadbury, a mother and servicewoman from Brenham, Texas, now based in Florida. Pictures show her looking happy enough. Yet for many years, there was a large hole in her life. Put up for adoption at the age of just three months old, she was troubled by the same thoughts anyone in her position would have. Who were her real parents? What was her true story? She decided to do something about this most burning of issues once and for all. In 2006, she went on a quest to settle the matter definitively. As you can imagine, this wasn't an easy task for Christina. She had no guarantees her search would result in a concrete answer. Sure enough, it wasn't everything she'd probably hoped for. There was good news and bad. The good news was she was reunited with her biological mother. Yet all was not well, as the lady she'd thought about all this time also revealed that her biological father was off the radar. Christina got the impression that, whoever this man was, he was probably unaware of her existence. We can only imagine how disappointing that must have been for Christina. What did she do next? There was nothing to go on. She didn't know if she had brothers or sisters. What she did have was a child of her own, though the little man would face his own life struggles. Christina's son had been diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome, which affects the kidneys. She'd looked to her past, but now she needed to focus on the present. This involved taking him for treatment at the Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth, Texas. It's surely a parent's worst nightmare, having to bring their child into a hospital. Affecting one in 50,000 kids, nephrotic syndrome happens when someone's urine takes on lots of protein, owing to leakage from the kidneys. It can lead to infections and even kidney failure. Christina and her family began visiting the medical center for treatment, starting in 2015. She was aware of the Sparklefly Studio, a media facility at the center where music was made. But it was hardly at the forefront of her mind. In fact, you may be wondering why we're bringing it up in the first place. All will become clear. Later in 2015, a music producer named Raymond Turner from Hempstead, Texas, started a new job at Cook's. Christina even saw him once at the studio. She remembered he was wearing a red shirt. That was an important day for Christina for one amazing reason. She'd earlier received a message from the wife of someone who said he was her brother. To Christina's surprise, she'd been contacted via 2323andMe. She'd actually used the firm herself back in 2014, though it hadn't originally produced any compelling matches. The DNA testing service works by people supplying saliva samples, which are then analyzed. Though to start with it hadn't worked out too well for Christina, now someone else had found her. Talk about the fates being aligned. On the subject of fate, we should mention the identity of the person who'd contacted Christina. You may probably have guessed by now, it was Raymond. Yes, he'd been working at the very establishment she and her family had frequented while treating her son. An incredible coincidence for sure, but the eye-opening facts don't stop there. For starters, Christina had been initially contacted through Facebook. Turner messaged her care of 2323andMe when he found out. Still, things obviously weren't moving quickly enough. Having spent his own period of time looking for answers about his own family background, Raymond didn't want to wait. Who could blame him, after all? This was truly a one-in-a-million shot. Amazingly, he and his wife Maria had a mutual Facebook friend with Christina. Throw in the fact they were in the same building, plus Christina seeing Raymond with his red shirt on the day she got his message, and you have a recipe for pure genealogical magic. After so much time and uncertainty, everything finally snapped together for these long-estranged siblings. I was like, 
You've got to be kidding me, Christina said, speaking in an interview to local TV news station WFA. Like, there's no way in the world that this was the guy that we saw. In fact, this was the first time she'd seen someone in the recording studio. How perfect that it just so happened to be the brother she never knew she had. It could so easily not have happened. Turner had received his 2323 and me kit as a Christmas gift. He had been keen to establish where he came from. Indeed, a potential trip to Africa was on his mind. Then, of course, revelations unfolded much closer to home. This stunning news blindsided Turner, and he figured it may all have been an error. Thankfully, though, he reached out. Initial communication between Christina and Raymond took place by text. The messages must have pinged back and forth like a tennis match, with each side eager to learn about the other. Them being in the same place, indeed the same building, and having not known was a major talking point in itself. It transpired that Raymond also passed Christina's place of work regularly. It was March 25, 2022, when they finally came face to face. The meeting happened at, where else? Cook's Medical Center. We're thinking the atmosphere must have been extraordinary. There's such a completeness when that puzzle piece fits into place, Turner told People magazine. Christina also talked about a feeling of wholeness now her brother is back in her life. These siblings with the same father had reached their destination. Of course, the pair exchanged a big hug. More than one was sure. Christina revealed that hugging Raymond felt like home. Hardly surprising. Though the connections didn't end there, if you think you've heard about all the coincidences in their lives, then prepare to be dazzled. The more they probed, the more similarities emerged. Starting with an all-important topic, food. You see, both had a fave food stuff in the shape of delicious butter pecan ice cream. Also, people reported that they went to the Olive Garden and ordered the same meal. Talking to Fox 4 News, Christina went on to mention that the pair both had a tendency to feel cold a lot. It all added to the powerful shared bond these two experienced.